to call before 8 a.m. if you're going to need the day off uh, and you don't do that because you didn't read the employee manual, you know, no, no quote unquote special treatment because you're a person with a disability, you know. You got to know the rules, you got to follow the rules. But I'm preaching to the choir, I know you guys know this, but these questions come up, you should hear some of the things I get. Okay, um, last little tip, uh, you know, other than making sure you know the rules and you're, you're following them, uh, you know, you also want to, um, you know, do what you can to um, be part of the work environment. You know, you want to be one of those employees who's a team player, who's uh, part of the job environment, who's involved, um, because that's going to show any employer that this is a job that you value, that you want to be in. Uh, and that you're an asset to the company, the agency, wherever it is that you're working. Again, I would tell that to anybody, regardless of whether they have a disability. But speaking as a person with a disability, I think that sometimes it's even more important for all of us to do that. Now, more questions. I know you've had some questions, which has been great. Yes. Yes. How does Social Security fit in all this? I mean, some jobs hold, some move. You can have the job, but your disease might progress, and you might end up losing it. Excellent question as well. Um, if you are currently getting SSD, Social Security Disability, uh, it is possible to work, provided that you work earning under the earnings limit that Social Security sets. Um, many of you have probably called Social Security about this and been told over the phone that you can earn something like $1,040 or a number that's higher than that if you're blind. Um, what I'm going to say to you is please don't believe that number. And the reason that I'm saying that is that um, you can go ahead and earn $1,040, you know, but if you do that consistently, nine times you're into this thing that's called a trial work period uh, and it's going to really mess with your benefits. I don't know how else to say it. Um, what I tell people is it's fine, work if you're getting SSD, but please, please, please try to earn less than $720 a month unless you're blind and then you can earn a little bit more because if you go over that $720, you're really you know, you're going to raise red flags for Social Security. I don't know what else to tell you. No worker at Social Security will tell you that because they don't care if you go into your trial work period. But I care if you go into your trial work period because if you go into your trial work period and you use up the nine months, uh, then you don't get any more. It's not like it re-ups itself. So that's important to know. Yes. Okay, the SSSD. Yes, I'm, I'm getting to the SSI. I'm getting there. Well, can I have a question before you move on to SSI? Yes, you may. Okay, SSD. You said uh, that once that nine months thing is, is over, uh, you don't have, you can't use it again. Is, does that mean if you start working and then whatever disability you have, you think you can do it? You think you can work full right. time? Mm -hmm. And then that disability shows up and you see you're not able to, you couldn't apply for disability again? Well, um, I have to add some things to your hypothetical or your question. Let's say that you have worked for nine months consistently and you've earned over the trial work amount, things were going good, mm -hmm. then something creeps up and oh my goodness, you're disabled and can't work again. If that's your situation, there is um, like a safe haven measure that is called expedited reinstatement. And at that point, if you uh, need to stop working, and I mean stop working completely, you can contact the Social Security Administration again, explain to them what happened, and ask for expedited reinstatement. That's what their five is, right? Okay. Yes, expedited reinstatement has to be done within five years of when you were last receiving benefits. If you didn't do it within five years, then you would have to reapply all over again. Is expedited what? 
expedited reinstatement. So uh, S SSD question or SSI question before I jump over here? Or you're not sure, which is fine. Neither, Neither one. Okay. So SSI, what about SSI? Can you earn and get SSI? Uh, some people told me that you could work while on SSI. You can work while on SSI. However, it's a little bit uh, tricky in the sense that if you're doing that, it's essentially going to change the amount of SSI that you get every single month. Because for every uh, $2 that you earn, they're going to reduce your SSI check by half of that. So every time you earn $2, they're going to take a dollar from you. So each month, they're going to be doing all these math problems to figure out what your SSI check should be. And if, Right. And if you, now, that having been said, it works for some people who are on SSI to work because maybe they have a lot of disability related expenses that are related to them getting a job. Because if you're on SSI, there's these worksheets that Social Security lets you do and you can fill out things like the cost of transportation, cost of attending care to get ready for work, things like that. And they'll kind of set that money aside, and they won't do that offset where they're reducing your check by a dollar for every two dollars that you earn. So if you have a lot of those expenses, it might still be beneficial for you to work and get SSI. The other time that it might be beneficial still, and this would be for an SSI recipient or an SSD recipient, there's something called a PASS plan, P-A-S-S. -S. Many people do not know about this. It's like one of the best kept secrets of Social Security. A PASS plan is a plan that is approved by the Social Security Administration. Remember what I said, it must be approved by the Social Security Administration. But the plan is something where you say, for example, uh, hey look Social Security, I need to be able to save money so that I can get a truck to ultimately start my own business. Okay. Uh, and you lay all this out in a written plan and once it's signed off on by Social Security, that gives you the ability to earn money and actually set that money in a, aside into a special account that Social Security will not count as income or resources against you. Now, uh, that can also be done for things like school uh, or other particular pieces of equipment that you might need that are work related that you need to be able to save up for. But you must talk to a Social Security worker at your local Social Security office about that and set up a formal plan. Now, I'm not kidding when I say that this is one of Social Security's best kept secrets because if you did some research on the internet, you would see that. Uh, across the nation, there are not all that many approved Social Security PASS plans. And I think that's because a lot of people don't know about the PASS plan and, you know, how it can benefit you. But it's something to keep in mind, especially if you think you might need equipment or something. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, I used to be a preschool teacher's assistant. And when I came out on disability, they said that I could not work in Pennsylvania in any capacity in the school district again, or else I would lose my pension. So if I decided I'm just going to go here back in there because that's what I've learned how to do, uh -huh. and accidentally over, over the Social Security, then got sick and had to go out, would I be out with nothing or what? Well, you have a bit of a unique situation because if you're getting a disability pension from the school district, uh, there might be, and it sounds like there are special rules associated with that. So I would actually have to look at your pension, you know, whatever documents came with that, to really be able to answer that question well. Yeah. Well, I have a similar that before my accident, I was paying into long term disability. Uh -huh. And so what happens to me? because that's private disability. Um, you don't have to answer this in front of the group if you don't want, but if you don't mind, I'll ask it. Um, 
Are you getting long-term disability now? Is that the issue? Yes, that's what I've been supporting.